That's why he's every man for himself. Not help your fellow man. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just fucking around. Bam. <laughs> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Yeah, not like if it's her fault. I ain't even gonna lie. This human must sexual be tension is palpable. <laughs> Fucking ain't. <laughs> I mean, look at her. She thick as fuck. And the bazongas that shot he had? Ta. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you? Who feel? changed my clothes? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. No, there was a link or Caden that I pushed out of the way. What are you talking about? You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't was even that know smile? if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. I don't even know if I saw that before. The beacon exploded. A system <laughs> overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. He's too torn like they push back his Sounds hairline. like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Damn straight. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? 
Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <sighs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Or oh, some nice ass eyelashes. Eyes bright as fuck. <laughs> uh. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. That guy, Captain. Ah, little Miss Liara to Sony is going to be in the back there. Hey, Commander. Oh, I'm sure. glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. The chocolates. Chocolates? Chocolates. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? You're lucky, Commander. Your implants use the L3 configuration. Lieutenant Alenka has the older L2. Far more complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. 
Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain's briefing was confidential. Understood, ma'am. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Yeah, I should talk to him. Have I ever? Don't Go know. speak to Joker when you're ready. Nope. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. No conversation there. I don't know if that's fortunate or unfortunate. This one's kind of frosty, right? This one is too, but this one's just extra frosty. Why? Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses? No goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. <laughs> Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Yes, 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 it is. <sighs> Tons of romance for this whole series. I'm not sure 
will be the main romance. But I have the multiple romance mods and whatnot so on, so you know. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah, I have that on. So I'll be romancing everybody romanceable. The main dog is e the the only two choices is Tally or Liara. There ain't no other choices from me in romance. I'm gonna go through the romance with everybody. Every female. I'm not romancing Caden. Nor am I romancing fucking whatever his name is. The guy from the um, Mass Effect 2. <laughs> James or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck him. Um, but yeah, basically everybody else. Romanceable. Question is, who's the main romance? Tally? Or... Yar? That's like the only two choices, really. For me, at least. For me. I'll may maybe this time I'll actually do the Garrus romance. I've never actually done it. I see. I see more as like a buddy, <laughs> you know, like Shepard's friend type shit. But yeah, whatever. We could try to romance that one as well. I guess. Maybe. I don't know, dog. I'll decide at the time. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. I have reshades, I have texture mods, I have a whole fuck up. I have like 201 mods in total. And then reshades, so like, yes. Ooh, oh, four? There's like four, three reshade packs. One, two, and three. Yeah, that's what she said. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. What I'm not like about the series is that Joker has shown this fucking loud. I like about the series is that Joker is just consistently Joker. You know? This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. They won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. 
That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. What the fuck is that in the back? Hmm. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. They are. That's not Big the console. Place. The console is on the same illusion as everybody inside of this bitch. Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real <laughs> say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Yeah, that's Goodbye, great. Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. <sighs> yeah, why not? Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Keeping that speech in mind, don't I mean that Goodbye, they could just Ambassador. lie? Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Hello I'm telling there, that they just human. won't lie? Sincere Bullshit. apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Good day. Peace, my nigga. Shots and bad bitches be in your future. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Oh, okay, cool. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Peace. I have nothing to look for up there. What am I Welcome running around here for? Allow me to be your guide. And if I miss anything, I'll just fucking mark it down as being done. I really can't be asked to be to do a hundred percent run on this shit. Really, I really can't be asked to be doing that shit. Is it cheating? No! 
by lord, no, it is not cheating. It's just selectively changing the values to weigh in my favor. Some might consider that cheating, but I do not. to do before I go and talk to the console? It doesn't seem like it. I haven't played this in a year. Forgive me, I'm rusty. Please do not disturb the keepers. I haven't played much. That's a lie. That, I was gonna say I haven't played much games recently, but that's a lie. That's a lie. I was just unable to play um, for the past like week or so because I was on a trip. My favorite rocket ship. I'm zooming through this. Uh, put the lines that the I was work trip. Had to leave. Welcome to the Presidio. I'm fine. What's her name again? Avina. I don't need a guide. Who the fuck is Ashley? She'll catch up. See? I told you she'll catch up. The council isn't gonna. That's it. I'm done for now. I'm gonna just go. I don't know, eat my meat or something. Hopefully, no more crashes this time. I can't promise anything. The council if I do ask me crash, no are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. If it do crash. Then I'm gonna have to redo the whole modern scene. And I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. If I'm being completely honest with you. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Humans in the tower. Interesting. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <clears throat> the hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. 
An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. <laughs>